Hallo, meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren. Willkommen zu The Talos Principle 2. <lacht> Einen schönen guten Abend, Jane. Vorab, äh, ich bin mal wieder heute viel zu spät dran. Meine Oma hatte heute Geburtstag und wir haben Vorbereitungen für morgen gemacht. Deswegen der Stream heute etwas später. Aber so ist dem halt. Ich merke, dass ich weitaus lauter reden muss, als die Musiklautstärke hier ist. Ich, ich tue das mal ein bisschen runterschrauben. So. Wie schon in den letzten äh, zwei Games und Streams angekündigt, ähm, ich habe Bock auf Puzzle Games und auch wenn Viewfinder ein interessantes Konzept hatte, war es mir zu kurz. Talos Principle 2 stelle ich mir weitaus länger vor. Ganz kurz, weder auf YouTube noch auf Twitch, weil ich es damals noch nicht gemacht habe, ist der Playthrough von Talos Principle 1. Ich habe Talos Principle 1 auf Twitch gestreamt, bin ich mir ziemlich sicher, aber die Sachen sind nie im Archiv gelandet. Von daher solltet ihr euch fragen, wie mein Talos Principle 1 Playthrough aussah. Ich habe das Game genossen, bin zum Ende gekommen, habe Ascent gedrückt und bin mega mad geworden, dass das Game meinen gesamten Spielstand gelöscht hat. Worauf ich es dann nicht weiterhin gestreamt habe, habe es dann allerdings privat nochmal durchgespielt und habe dann das Alternative Ending gesehen. So viel zu Talos Principle 1. <lacht> ähm, heute ist Talos Principle 2 dran. Ganz kurz vorab, wir testen heute mit einem etwas grafisch anspruchsvolleren Spiel. Zum ersten Mal das äh, Synchronstreamen auf YouTube und Twitch. Sollte mein Computer nicht in der Lage sein, auf hohen Grafikeinstellungen äh, zu beiden Plattformen zu streamen, verabschiedet sich YouTube, weil ihr bekommt das Video am Ende sowieso. <lacht> Aber Twitch hat Priority, ne? Ansonsten, was weiß ich über das Spiel? Äh, es ist ein Puzzle-Game. Obviously. Ich habe Talos Principle 1 gespielt. Ich frage mich, ob das an die Story anknüpft. I don't know. Ähm ich habe mir die Mechaniken im Trailer nicht angeguckt. Ich habe mir basically keinen Trailer zu dem Game angeguckt. Äh, mit Ausnahme von... 10 Sekunden oder so, wo man gesehen hat, dass wieder diese, diese Pylon-Dinger da sind, die man auch schon im ersten Teil gesehen hat. Das ist alles, was ich über das Spiel weiß. Ich weiß nicht, wie lang das Spiel ist. Ich weiß nicht, wie schwer das Spiel ist. Es ist ein Puzzle-Game. Äh, ich liebe Puzzle-Games. Und von daher würde ich sagen, go, go, Gadget, Abfahrt. Wir nehmen die goldene Mitte. <lacht> Aber ein bisschen antiklimatisch. Hinweis zur Leistung der HDD-Einschränkungen. Oh. Scheiße. <lacht> äh, ja. Ich habe das Game auf meine HDD geladen. Das kann durchaus sein. Ich habe eigentlich eine extra dedizierte Gamefestplatte, aber dann hat die mir das wohl standardmäßig auf meine HDD gesetzt. Notfalls ziehe ich das einfach mal rüber, wenn es wirklich anfängt zu stottern. Allerdings ist meine Fra Datenplatte nicht fragmentiert oder sonst noch irgendwas. Also sollte das eigentlich klar gehen. Der Prophet gilt nicht im eigenen Lande. Ich bin mir nicht sicher, ob ich die gläubigen, äh, gläubigen Texte vorlesen werde. Das hat mich in Talos Principle 1 immer massiv angekotzt. Ich hasse den Glauben. Absolut. Aber der Glaube wird hier als Programm eher gesehen, anstatt als der Glauben. Which is why I am accepting it. Aber trotzdem. Ähm, es kann sein, dass ich gleich auf Englisch äh, switchen werde. Denn ich bin kein Freund davon, deutsche Schrift zu lesen. Mausgeschwindigkeit Test. Behold, child. You are risen from the dust and you walk in my garden. Ah, Hear now my voice and know that I am your friend and I am called Elohim. Yes. 
Und damit verabschiedet sich die deutsche Sprache schon mal sofort. Ein ganz kleines bisschen langsamer. Jetzt die Tiny Bit langsamer. Okay. <lacht> ich weiß nicht, irgendwie... Es fühlt sich wobbly an, aber, aber okay. Wusstet ihr, dass äh, Talos Principle 1 in der Source Engine gemacht wurde und deswegen man überall Buddy hoppen konnte? I don't know if this is still the case. Doesn't seem like it. Äh, bisher sieht alles sehr wie Talos Principle 1 aus. Außer, dass diese Sachen hier fucking Depth haben. <lacht> Ah ja. Jammer, die die Tore jammen können. Yep. Eins zu eins, genauso wie man es kennt. Aus Tardos Principle 1. Ein Hexahedron. The most basics of puzzle. Ich habe damals Tardos Principle 1 mit Portal verglichen. Aus hoffentlich erkennbaren Gründen. Ähm Mal gucken, ob ich das Game mit äh, Portal 2 vergleichen werde. This land is but a dream. You will stay here only for a little while. Soon you will awaken in a new world. But first, you must undertake the trials of initiation. They will help me prepare your vessel. Okay, interesting. Ähm, Im ersten Teil war ja die Story quasi mehr oder weniger, dass man uns nicht gesagt hat, dass wir uns in einer Simulation befinden. Und wir sind dann am Ende quasi in einem abgeschotteten Damm aufgewacht und sind als Roboter durch die Gegend gelaufen. Ähm... Diesmal scheint er etwas mehr straightforward zu sein, was mich ein bisschen denken lässt, dass wir eventuell in der Real World spielen. Do not be afraid of these dream figures and their messages. They are merely aspects of yourself. As am I, after a fashion. Ich gehe davon aus, was da drinne steht, ist exakt das, äh, was gerade auf meinem, auf meinem Bildschirm zu sehen ist. Und trotzdem werde ich nachgucken. Ja. <lacht> es ist genau das, was äh, in den Subtitles steht. Genau, da sind diese Doors, nenne ich es jetzt mal. Und die einzelnen Teile daraus bekommt man aus den Subleveln. Das ist eins zu eins so. Hier sind die grünen wahrscheinlich. Oh nein, die roten. You may linger in my garden for as long as you wish. But remember, my child, that the new world awaits you. And this place is only a dream. Yep. Genau, also hier sind quasi so, ich nenne jetzt mal die, die, die Sub-Level. Ne? Nenn, nenn das Sub-Level. Und ziemlich straightforward. Du machst grün, um gelb zu bekommen. Du machst gelb, um rot zu bekommen. Und rot geht gerade aus. Willkommen im Hub. I have played a puzzle game before. Gehen wir von rechts nach links. Also fangen wir mit dem geraden Stück an. Within reach. Oh. Oh. 
In, in Talos Principle 1 hat man dann so auf seine, auf seine Uhr geklickt und hat dann quasi teilweise die Zeit zurückgedreht. Äh, hier ist es ein nicht ganz so smoother, ähm, ganz so smoother Rewind. Okay, deshalb heißt es nicht Within Reach. Kann ich's von dir ziehen? I can. Alright, never mind. Da bin ich mir gerade gar nicht sicher, ob das in Talos Principle 1 ist. Die you are collecting are not mere toys. They are symbols of the process by which our people were created. Okay. Äh, ich bin mir gerade nicht sicher, ob das in Talos Principle 1 auch ging, dass man von oben etwas hochziehen konnte. Ich habe Talos Principle 1 nicht nochmal angeguckt. Also das ist gute... Fünf Jahre her fast, dass, dass ich Talos Principle 1 gespielt habe. It's been some time. Ganz kurz, ich wurde angeschrieben. Bam, ignoriert. <lacht> Be silent. I don't want to socialize. Fancy. Konnte man Cubes werfen? Oh, das ging damals nicht, dass man in Talos Principle sich in den Cube reingestellt hat. I think not. Cubic Steps. Oh, interesting. Warte mal. Ah. Interesting. Habt, habt ihr das gesehen? Das ist quasi die Distanz, aus der ich einen, einen Würfel holen kann. Aber, wenn das Spiel bemerkt, dass zwischen dem Würfel und dir eine Wand stehen würde, dann geht der Charakter erst dahin und hebt den Cube dann auf. Ich kann verstehen, warum. In Talos Principle 1 habe ich einige Puzzle definitiv auf eine Art und Weise gelöst, die man als Cheese betreffen könnte. Wieder. Well done, my child. Thank you. Oh mein Gott! Das ist ja die kleinste Maus der Welt. <lacht> okay, das ist... Naja. Mhm. Verbinden die Puss Puzzle. I have brain damage. Noch mal wieder von The world is full of limitless beauty and I wish to see as much of it as I can at me. A windy day. Ah ja. Fanny platforms my beloved. Interesting, du kannst quasi auch. Very good. Ja, ja. 
Du kannst quasi auf, auf Bereiche vor dir hin snappen. That's good. Single Slit Experiment. Damn it. Oh. I got a blow over here. Those graphics. Ich weiß nicht, ob da schon immer eine Grace Period zwischen war. I don't think so. Okay, das ist, weil ich kann quasi von hier ohne Probleme bis nach dahin springen. Ne? Also von hier aus, aber erst ab hier bekomme ich die Prompt quasi dahin. Ich gehe mal davon hin, die Prompt ist weitaus safer, was es angeht, die Sache auch zu treffen. Ähm aber manchmal will ich die Prompt eigentlich gar nicht verwenden. Versatile Contraption. Mr. Yammer. Plant in, uh, Inspection. Okay. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm yeah, sure, okay. What does this do? Ich höre da drüben auf der anderen Seite was brisseln. Geht das? Hm, maybe. Hm. I think I'm missing something. Yeah. What I'm missing is that I'm an idiot and can't see shit. It's not a I'm doing garbage wand, that it's just a don't walk through it wand. Excellent. Thank you. Hamba, hamba. Hamba, hamba nicht. Static pressure. Schade. Ist das eine Fahne? Wahrscheinlich.
Ich hätte schwören können, im ersten Teil wurde besser gezeigt, äh, was du entfernen kannst und was nicht. Hm. Oh, I'm just an idiot. You know, the second part is always possible. Time to bomb it again. Your brothers and sisters await you to celebrate your birth. Ja, die Dinger hier, äh, die haben mir in Talos Principle 1 so ein bisschen den äh, Verstand geraubt. Just a. Just a tiny bit though. Die Dinger sind grauenvoll in, in späteren Leveln. Äh, da habe ich noch sehr gute Erinnerungen dran. Prismatic Diffraction. Das Offensichtliche. Das ist das andere Level. Okay, was möchten wir? Wir möchten eigentlich das Ding da ein, äh, einfach nur anmachen, ne? Gab's nicht ein Limit, wie viele man damit machen konnte? Ich habe die Dinge anders in Erinnerung. Oder es waren andere. Aber ich habe nicht in Erinnerung, dass, dass die unendlich viele Verbindungen machen konnten. Potentially unlimited zumindest, sagen wir es so. Destructive Interference. Ah ja. Äh, die Regel, dass Sachen, die sich... Genau, die Regel, dass sich Dinger, wenn sie in einer Reihe stehen, abschalten. Das da. Na? Die Lösung wäre ja natürlich, du nimmst das Ding, schraubst es unten auf, machst die Beine ein bisschen weiter auseinander, damit das Ding ungefähr 5 cm weiter runterrutscht. Und dann würde der eine Laser unter dem anderen durchgehen. Aber hey, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe I don't know about things.
Two colors, two doors. Two dicks, two holes. <laughs> Static skybox. Hmm. Oh, this cube. Okay, wenn ich blau haben will, muss das unser Strom stehen. Oder wie immer. Ah, keep connections. I can tell you this option was not available. <laughs> Ascension awaits. Genau, das kann man nicht rausnehmen. And I'm always confused. You can turn it on and off. I see already what this is going to do. Where's the ding? Da. Zack. Zack. Knapp. Ab. Danke. Hoppala. Thank you, child. Bitte. I have finished preparing your vessels. Now hear my advice. Fasten. A new world awaits you. Okay. Full of dangers and mysteries, signs and wonders. Things that I in my garden could never have imagined. In that world you will have to be careful and smart and curious. But above all else, you will have to be human. Ooh, that's gonna be hard. I'm a monster. Ich, ich ohne Spaß, ich sehe meine Maus nicht, wenn ich in die Puzzle reingehe. Und die Start, die, die Maus merkt sich, wo du bist. Okay, Escape merkt sich's auch. <lacht> damit, damit kann man vielleicht arbeiten, aber uh, I, I, I genuinely don't like that. Why have they done it like that? Whatever happens, we're in it together. Lilith Step from Borderlands. Life, child. Yes. Awaken. Up Initia. Finish the calculation process. Achievement, by the way. You're awake. Welcome to the world of the living. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> That's not an easy question to answer. But the first step is this. You've been born. Your body was completed. You were booted up. And now you're here. And rather confused. Yes. Don't worry. Everyone is confused at first. You see... We all start out without a full knowledge of our own history, so we have the freedom to form our own opinions. Uh, give me quest objectives. I am an Ubisoft player. Of course. <laughs> you want the short version or the long version? Ach komm, ich hab Zeit. Hau mal raus. So, a long time ago, our ancestors dominated this planet. We call ourselves humans like they did. But they were organic. They built an advanced technological civilization. But unfortunately, 
Their impact on the ecosphere caused changes in the climate, and an extremely contagious virus was released from the permafrost. When was this game developed? <laughs> That's something our historians still debate. Why did they invest so many resources into making war and so few into useful research? Mm. But no matter the reason, in the end, they simply ran out of time. Where are we? A team led by a scientist called Alexandra Drennan began a project that was intended to create, well, us. But knowing that there wasn't enough time, Drennan initiated a process a series of iterations inside a simulation that would lead to the emergence of true artificial intelligence. It, it summarizes the plot of Talos Principle 1, if you can call it a plot. I call it, it religious did. bullshit. Long after our ancestors died out, the first new human was born. We call her the Founder, although the name she took was Athena. She then created more of us, using the tools left behind by Drennan's team. Eventually, they started building the city of New Jerusalem. What did Bell need? Before the founder vanished, she set a goal for this city. We Make call it crack. the goal. Capital G and all. To make 1,000 new humans, and so complete New Jerusalem. Oh, it was difficult, especially after she left us. But after a millennium or so, we finally succeeded. And that's you. Your number 1000. Ah. I see. Number 34 in front of me. The basics, I guess. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them. When you're done, head outside. They're waiting for you. Your birth is quite the event. Oh boy. Äh, in, in Talos Principle 1 hatte man so, so DOS 64 Commodore Terminals, wo man Fragen stellen konnte. Ähm, das Prinzip ist dasselbe, nur das Terminal sieht anders aus. Äh, what happened to the founder? Obviously she vanished. No one really knows. Ah, ja, natürlich. At first she was closely involved with everything that happened in the city, but gradually she became more distant. And one day she simply vanished. That was centuries ago. <lacht> Tell me about yourself. That is a sarcastic question, but me? please do anyways. Well, as you can tell by my number, I'm quite old. I wasn't one of the first companions, but I did know Athena personally. She and Cornelius taught me a lot. Although I suppose I've made a few improvements here and there since those days. We didn't have a lot to work with in the beginning. Achtet mal auf seinen oberen, äh, also auf seinen oberen rechten Arm oder sein Schulterblatt. Das Teil geht in sein Torso rein und es triggert mich absolut. Entschuldigung, bitte, weitermachen. You've only just been born, and already you step right into a major controversy. The goal, as most people understand it, was fulfilled the moment you were born. Now, New Jerusalem is complete, and we can live in balance, without damaging the world like our ancestors did. That's the orthodox view, I suppose. But there are many who disagree. You'll have to figure out where you stand for yourself. I would like to define a new goal. Bomb Jerusalem. Again. He was the caretaker of the simulation that created the founder. When the simulation was completed, he became part of all of us. You will hear him whenever you enter sleep mode. Nothing to worry about, really. Mm -hmm. Am I immortal? Do I have a backup? You won't age like our ancestors did, but of course, there is always some wear and tear. You should probably schedule a checkup every decade or so. Oh, and be a bit careful with water. You won't die if it rains or anything, but we're running low on insulation material. I wouldn't go swimming if I were you. 
There is your in-lore reason why swimming is not implemented in the game. <laughs> what will you do now when your job's obsolete? I... I haven't really thought about it. This is all I've done for the last few centuries, and I like doing it. I guess for now I'll just take a break, and we'll see what happens. You could invent anime. It's pretty easy, you just have to bomb Japan. Oh, one more thing. Like all citizens of New Jerusalem, you have access to the interface, which you can use to read the news, chat to your fellow citizens, and so on. It's a crucial tool, and modular too. You can easily add new functions. Just don't subscribe to too many newsletters at once. I'm, I'm playing a puzzle game, not a uh, social interaction medium. Uh, sorry, um, Kate, I'm not subscribing to your Twitter. <laughs> Welcome to nine. Ah, I am called 1K, of course. Hmm, snowflake IDs, okay. To give everyone with respect regarding their number, don't take the founder's name in vain. Respect the principles of the goal. Well, it's already gone, so let's make a new goal. Uh, the Afrox people discussion is now banned. Inactive thread will be archived. If you have any issues, please ping the moderator. Jeremy Niham, number 11, okay. Jeremy 832, and order Arox 430. Ah, das ist die Startseite von Social Media und das ist ein Fred. Okay. You know, not quite as uh, intuitive as you might think. Dear citizens of place number here, your hard work and faith in the founder's vision has finally paid off. At long last, the goal established so long ago will finally be reached. One thousand member of our family will be born and our beautiful city will reach, will finally be complete. A space at a dam is, yeah, the dam. Genau da hat Talos Principle 1 aufgehört. Time is limited. Tickets will be made available via a lottery system. The celebration will also be streamed. Amazing. Ooh. Okay, also wir sind tatsächlich im Prequel von Talos Principle 1. It is very weird. Ähm, anstatt einfach nur Puzzles zu machen, jetzt ein Social System zu bekommen. Ich weiß nicht, was das da oben heißt. Heißt das, er möchte mit mir nicht interagieren? Entschuldigung. Heißt das, er möchte mit mir nicht interagieren? Denkst du, du bist zu gut für mich? Hm? Dipshit. Institution for Applied Nomatics? Ja. Say no to bugs. Ich, ich hab fa ich wollte gerade schon zu meinem Stift drüber greifen und Morse Code holen, aber ich glaube, das ist nicht mein Morse Code. Was ist das? This is a reconstruction of the chamber of the first companions, where the first companions rested until the founder awoke them. The original chamber was assembled in the early days of New Jerusalem. Okay. I'm getting flashbang, boys. Look, it's 1K. 
I am in grave danger. Shouldn't the mayor be starting his speech? This should be interesting. At least give him a chance. Dear citizens of New Jerusalem, many years ago, when the founder stepped forth from the simulation, this was a land of ruins. Our ancestors, in their hubris, undermined the natural foundations on which their world had been built. Because of their arrogance, our species found itself on the brink of annihilation. The founder aimed to set us on a new course. You never even met the founder. Her vision was of a city, a new civilization that would know its limits. It would not repeat the mistakes of the past, nor impose its will on this earth. <laughs> to that end, she set the great goal we have been striving towards. One thousand new humans. And today we have... Oh dear, what's that? Well, the plot has to happen someday. People of New Jerusalem, hmm. I am Prometheus, and I will reveal that which was hidden. The flame has awoken and summons you. Who is brave enough to answer its call? We await you upon our island where... Curse you, Pandora. You will not chain me again. Prolog. Brave New World. This is an anime? <gasps> Are we going to gondola right? Uh, no, it's just a elevator. <gasps> no, it's I more than an elevator. Have investigated those energy readings, and I told him there's something up with those structures. The mayor's just being caught. Ich möchte, ich möchte mal ganz kurz anmerken. Ich weiß, wir sind Roboter, aber wenn du in so einem Ding runterfährst und du bist von null auf sofort im Gas, egal was in dem Gebäude drinne ist, in dem Teil, du wirst komplett Komplett an die Wand gedrückt. Komplett. Die zwei Typen This müssten hinten hinter mir liegen. Stagnation. Exploration too dangerous. Expansion too dangerous. We barely even scavenge anymore. You call it stagnation. I call it balance. And I called you an idiot. Here's a thought. Try to be a little more diplomatic when you talk to the mayor. See what I'm working with here, 1K? I'm gonna need a fresh pair of eyes on this expedition. Someone who hasn't spent several centuries hearing about the goal and the founder and all that nonsense. If you're up for an adventure, meet us at the conference room. Can I have some uh, puzzles, please? <laughs> What do we eat? Do we eat? Mikrofon? Oh, ich bin auf <lacht> ich bin nicht auf weh gewesen genau also das heißt einfach nur dass ich nicht mit euch reden kann ich, die sind auf der anderen seite ausgestiegen oder huh. what's broken now was ich gerade sagen wollte ähm, stagnation ladies and gentlemen is the death 
empathy and stagnation, the two things that kill, truly kill. Be constant, remember the goal, perfection is unchanging. Ich spiele das Spiel seit 20 Minuten. Ich kann euch jetzt schon sagen, wie die Story ausgehen wird, aber wir lassen es einfach mal auf uns zukommen. Uh, oh, be humble. Recognize the limits. We are not above nature. Oh, trust me, we are. Earth is doomed. And so are we. But the next planet awaits. If you can't see and understand that, I am very sorry for you. <laughs> I know you're all having fun down there, but the grid is overloaded again, so maybe you could switch off your personal consoles or your lawn mowers or whatever the hell you've all decided to switch on all at once. I might not be around to babysit you for a while, and you don't want stuff breaking while Pellegrino's in charge, do you? That's it. That's it. Don't worry, Wonke. I see you there in the elevator. I'll have you moving again in a jiffy. Great way to start life in the city, eh? Huh? What the hell is a jiffy? These bloody language libraries. Die City scheint noch nicht ganz fertig zu sein und hat jetzt schon Energy Problems. Well. Good. Shut up. You know, the good thing is, uh, we, as number 1000, have had a crucial revelation and have finally fixed a bug all other uh, versions of the robots had. We have invented capitalism and we will use it to expand with money. Limits are there to be broken and money is there to be made. <laughs> Looks pretty neat, though. Hey, hold on there. You're the newbie, aren't you? Number 1000. I figured the dam would go drop. Pass auf. Ich hab's, ich hab's nicht angesprochen, weil dann unten unter dem, unter der Trans... Bahn oder wie auch immer, äh, weil dann der Strom ausgefallen ist, ganz kurz, also habe ich es nicht ausgesprochen. Aber ich wollte schon sagen, es gibt zwei Leute, äh, zwei Personen, eigentlich gibt es, es gibt drei <coughs> Humans, mit denen ich sehr gerne sprechen möchte. Und das sind Number 42, who will definitely have the answer to a question. Äh, number 999, which is probably my smaller, younger brother. And number 666, because it's funny. And lo and behold, who stands in front of me? Right before we reach the goal, <laughs> I have a question. How does it feel to you to be born with a randomized psyche into a society of autonomous thinking machines, which so much resemble their long extinct ancestors, they've decided it's best that you're the last one ever made? It makes me feel. Mm -hmm. Punkt, Punkt, Punkt. Und da wird sofort zwischengekattet werden. Was, also was es mich fühlen lässt, wenn ich wüsste, dass ich der Letzte in Production bin, dann ist das Erste, was ich mich frage, what happens if someone dies? Do we make then a new 1000? Does everyone else decrease in number? Or... What happens then? So I am curious. What would happen in just a small, inconvenient case of mass murder? <laughs> Why? I like none of these answers. Now listen. This meeting isn't strictly happenstance. I have some friends. The kind of people who like to know what's going on with other people. 
I think you can help each other out. Of course you are. You know how to use the interface, right? I'll talk to my friends and see if I can't play matchmaker. And before you go, a word of advice. Not everything around here is how it appears. Oh, tell me more. I'm blind, apparently. <laughs> Feet. Yes. Welcome. Do please join us at the table. What the fuck is this? Seriously. What what uh what was Seriously, what the founder was Oh fuck, uh, in the sky, we all saw it, right? I didn't accidentally turn into sleep mode while Herman was talking, did I? I mean, it's always tempting. No, we all saw it, can confirm. I believe it was a sign from the founder. Oh no, even the robots are now getting religion. If, if I having, if I, F number 1000, have a free will, I will shoot the first robot resembling religion. <clears throat> the founders work mysteriously. I don't think it was a sign. Not from the founder, at least. How could such a remarkable display of unimagined power be not be a sign? It's something, but not necessarily the founder. Thank you for giving that answer. Riddles and puzzles. Mm, yes. And why is it now the end of the thread? I don't. I don't care. Okay. Hello there. I would like to preface this meeting by saying I told you something would happen sooner or later, and you didn't listen to me. And here we are. If we could focus on the issue fancy, at hand. Fancy, fancy. The issue at hand is not this one thing, but this entire attitude that's taken hold. The world doesn't cease to exist when you stick your head in the sand, Herman. Or under a dome, as it were. Let's not get sidetracked. We're here to solve this puzzle, not to discuss philosophy. Fill me in, gentlemen. Of course. I'm sorry you've been dragged into this. I'm sure this sort of adventure is the last thing you were looking for on your first day. Well, actually, I like puzzles. <laughs> Thank you, chef. See? A fresh mind is open to the possibilities. Yakut, I think it's time for the briefing. All right, here we go. Nice to meet you, by the way, 1K. Moin. We first became aware of the site-designated TTP2 during a scouting expedition about six months ago. It's a large island with a remarkably varied geography, and it looks like there are several artificial structures of some kind. We recorded extremely unusual fluctuating energy readings from somewhere in the middle of the island, but couldn't really make sense of them. I wanted to go and have a closer look, but the decision was made that it was too far and not relevant to the goal. Now it looks like whatever's on that island has reached out to us instead in the form of that projection we may not be interested in the island, but the island is definitely interested in us. We should bomb it with nukes. I don't share your enthusiasm for the unexpected, but Byron has been requesting an expedition for some time now. And at this point, I'm forced to agree that it's necessary. I agree. Then it's settled. The expedition is approved. Byron, you will be in charge. Al will be your second in command to ensure a balanced approach. You'll take Melville and Yakut as you requested, and if 1K wants to join you, that's fine by me. I'm in. Excellent. Oh, this is going to be fun. Come meet us out on the landing pad when you're ready. Before you set out so hastily, do consider exploring the city first. 
It is your home, after all. That's a good idea. Have a look around. See what you make of the place. I want to have my puzzles. Oh boy, research. Standard expedition procedure. Rule number one, when going on an expedition, can I have weapons? <laughs> the island. The island designated DTP2 was first noted during the new journey from the scouting expedition. That's literally the Zelda text. You have puzzles over here? Das ist Schrift, die wir lesen können als Roboter. Ich hoffe sehr stark, dass ich mir nicht die Arbeit machen muss äh, und muss die Schrift irgendwann selber übersetzen mit, mit Stift und Zettel, weil das wird, das wird Qual werden. Okay, also X oben drüber heißt nicht mehr interagierbar und Blaues Ding oben drüber heißt, man kann mit ihm reden. Es hat einen Moment gedauert, bevor es losging. Do you, mm. I believe we can exist quietly, happily, without imposing ourselves on this world, finding meaning within ourselves. And in the natural miracles that surround us. He will die withered away in an alleyway with no one caring about him. There, I just told you your future. It was a time of great uncertainty. The founder had left us and our society was at a crossroads. History teaches us that during such times, terrible passions may seize the people. Madness, anger, revolution, civil war. Our fragile city could not afford such things. That is why the founder gave us the goal. A path to equilibrium. Not only for the planet, but for ourselves. I merely picked up where she left off. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to rate you on a scale from 1 to 10. You are a solid 4. It's always a pleasure to speak to a citizen. I have another question. Is there fall damage? <laughs> okay, also da drüben geht's weiter. Da ist quasi... Genau, da ist quasi der obere Teil von der Kuppel. Da ist wahrscheinlich ein Helikopter oder so. Das heißt, wir machen einen kleinen Checkout in die Richtung hier drüben. Attention all citizens. Due to the new power management and distribution plan, there will be scheduled outages on Jameson Avenue and Rakovsky Plaza. The Gehenna Memorial Pavilion will remain closed for the time being. Thank you, and may the founder be with you. Have you thought about nuclear power? You know, just asking. Now you've all been looking forward to playing the winner of the Binaural Gehenna Memorial Interaction Fiction Exhibition. What the fuck? Now, in its 312th generation at the Gehenna Memorial Pavilion, unfortunately, due to the new power management and distribution plan... Can I answer? No, the thread is ended. All right, I, I didn't even have the chance to make any hate posts. 
Sign our petition for a public referendum. New Jerusalem needs new forms of energy generation. My boy, you are the first sensely oh, okay. speaking Welcome person ever. Jerusalem. I know you've just had a big moment with the apparition at the dam and all that, but can I have a second of your time? I'm collecting signatures to call for a public referendum on the city's energy crisis. Currently, the city runs on hydroelectric power from the dam, plus a handful of geriatric generators and some unreliable solar panels, none of which is enough to even cover our basic needs. And if anything fails, we'll be on the brink of extinction in a matter of days. Well, build more, and in the meantime, have alternative energies like <clears throat> nuclear power. Just saying. We need to investigate new sources of reliable baseline power. We need to invest time and resources into functional, real-world solutions that serve human needs. Provide the digital signature. It'd be good too, but I believe that we need more direct democratic control over the affairs of the city. Ich habe irgendwie das Gefühl, seine seine Stimme halt, als wäre er in einem gigantisch großen Raum. Äh, auf jeden Fall, die Idee gefällt mir. Aber tell me more. No, I help run the public transit system, but I witness the impact of the city's power problems every day. Mm, makes sense. We can't just wish them away. Byron's been advocating exploring that island for some time, and obviously he's right. Something very strange is going on there, and it's going to start affecting us. In all honesty, I think Byron is the smartest, most visionary person in this city. He's everything we need, and I don't understand why he won't run for mayor. Ich habe mir leider äh, nicht ganz gemerkt, wer Brian genau war, aber ich glaube, es war der Grüne, Number Nine. Um, high number means longest amount of time here, meaning most corrupt. I know basic storytelling. Thanks, 1K. Probably. I don't know if this petition will really accomplish anything by itself, but at this point, I'm willing to try anything. Good luck. 